What is good, YouTubians? I hope y'all are having a fantastic day today. I remember when I first started coming to skate parks, everything kind of looked foreign and I didn't really know where to start. And the first obstacle that I skated was a bank. I think that's because banks kind of look the most natural. They're pretty much a flat surface, but on an incline. So it's not like trying to skate a quarter or anything along those lines. It's pretty easy to transfer the tricks that you have on flat ground to the bank. I do have a key tip that really changed the game for me when it came to skating banks and I will be getting into that later in the video so make sure you stick around if skating banks is something that you're interested in but you're having some issues this tip might be able to help you out. So if you're just learning how to skate banks my first recommendation is definitely just roll up and down it and get used to how it feels to be on an incline. There is a little bit of an adjustment you just have to kind of square your shoulders over the bolts and make sure you're staying on top of it. If you lean back or if you lean forward you're probably gonna fall there's two easy ways to go up and come back down the bank the first way is to just go up and roll back down and fakey this is pretty easy because it doesn't require you to actually do anything with the skateboard once you get on the bank I definitely recommend getting comfortable with rolling it back in fakey because that is the most natural way to skate a bank so get comfortable doing that and then you'll be ready to start trying some tricks that you have on flat freaking gum over here I hate when people do that why would you put gum in a skate park? come on now shit gets stuck to your shoe the second way is to come up and do a kick turn and roll back down the same stance that you rolled into it you can do a kick turn on the ground you can do it on the bank it is no problem easy peasy nacho cheesy once you're done with that you can get into some tricks the first thing I recommend is trying to figure out how to ollie on here because it'll really teach you how to stay squared over the board and not let it like go in front of you or fall behind you I'm assuming that if you're trying to skate this bank you probably there was a beat I'm assuming that if you're trying to learn how to skate the bank, you already have some tricks on flat. I'm gonna just do the basics here to kind of give you some ideas, but I'm assuming you already have an ollie, so let's go ahead and do an ollie, and then I'll talk about the little adjustments that you need to make in order to get your ollie here on this bank. The first tip I'm gonna give you guys is make sure you are bending down like if you were gonna pop before you actually hit the bank. This is gonna really change the way that your balance is set up. If you try to bend down and pop while on the bank, it causes a little bit of imbalance. Usually what happens for me is I end up back here and the board ends up in front of me. So if you're leaning down before you actually hit the obstacle, you're ready to go, you're ready to pop, and once you hit that right spot on the incline, you give it a pop and you get your trick and you roll away like a boss. That key tip that I was talking about will also help a lot with the problem of the board landing in front of you and you feeling like you're kind of leaning back a little bit. But for right now, make sure you are bending your knees ready to pop before you actually hit the bank. Another trick that's pretty easy to learn on banks is the shove it. You don't even have to pop it, just give it a shove around and roll back down and fakie. If you know how to shove on flat, you'll be able to do it on the bank. Nothing really to it, just keep in mind the same tips. Be ready to pop as you're already rolling up and keep your shoulders square to the bolt. You'll be able to land it, roll away, no problems. Okay, here's where things start getting fun. In my opinion, if you can ollie on the bank and you know how to kickflip on flat, you can kickflip on the bank. That was my mindset when I took my kickflip to the bank and within maybe 20 minutes or so, I was able to get one. I felt awesome. I felt like, damn, I'm doing all right at this skating thing, you know what I'm saying? Now, while I was learning to kickflip is when I figured out that key tip and I'm about to share it with you guys. The number one tip to skating banks is make sure you pop your trick before you come to a stop on the bank. Popping before you stop makes it so you can keep your balance over the trick while you're doing it. If you wait until you stop, the board will go in front of you. You will lean back and land behind it. At least that's what I found that worked for me. Keep that in mind next time you're skating the bank and trying some tricks on it, and I promise you it will make a change in your landing abilities. I'm 
show you guys some examples of what happens if you wait until you stop to pop and you can see if this is kind of the problem that you're running into. So if you pop once you stop, <laughs> I love how that rhymes. If you wait to stop before you pop, your board is gonna move that way, your body's gonna move this way because you're automatically leaning back a little bit. It makes it really hard to stay squared over the bolts. I kid you not, this made the world of difference for me. Keep in mind, pop before you stop. Say the rhyme to yourself as you're rolling up to the bank. You will be golden. All right, those are the tips for skating a bank. I hope it helps someone out there. Skating banks are super fun, and in my opinion, it's the easiest obstacle to take your tricks from flat ground to an obstacle. I hope these tips help you guys out there. If you take anything away from this video, I hope it's that you remember to pop before you come to a stop when you roll up to the bank. That really will make a world of a difference. It unlocks the whole secret of skating banks for me anyway. Hopefully it helps you out too. Thank you for watching another video. I hope you guys come and check out some more videos in the future. I hope Hope you all have a great day. Keep doing the things that make you happy. Stay excellent. Peace.